Hey guys, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog, Reptile Army. Hope the start of your day is amazing. Whoa. I've got Noah over here. Hey, be careful man. I've got Mike on this side and we have a shipment of ball pythons. We're going to play a little game today <laughs> again and we're going to see if these guys can guess the ball pythons. This is Let's easy. Let's see, what should be the consequences? If you guys, whoever wins... Whoever uh, wins gets a Jimmy John sandwich. And whoever loses gets stabbed with this knife. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> All right, hang on a second here. This here is going to be easy for me. You know who my dad is? Who? I don't know. I don't know either. I'm used to Jason. Oh my gosh, there's a snake out. <gasps> I know that one. So let's just start right off the bat. We'll have to figure out which bag this goes in, but there's a snake. What do you think this is? Well, I know it has at least pie in it. Looks like a pastel pie. Ooh. Pastel pie? Now listen, I don't know for sure it's a pastel pie, but I would, if I were a betting man, I would say it is a pastel pie. So wow. let's see if we can That's find... Oh! Wow. It had a knife in it. Yeah, no, it did not have a knife in it. Oh, there's another one. Look at oh, that. Oh, wow. Hey. Why well, you never put too big a holes in boxes. It's a Let's great see. point. Ah, look at that. Empty bag. bag, and this is pet pie times pie. It doesn't even say pastel pie. And these I are... think this is different than a pastel. Nope, it is. These are both pastel pies. I don't know. They're both marked pie. This is the main. But I'm pretty sure they're pastel pies. But That's I'll have beautiful. to check with my buddy to find out what the breeding was. I think there's a firefly. So in does that, that, one. Does that Firefly? Count? No. <laughs> We're gonna open up the next bag here and see. The there's bag. some. No looking at the I bag. I didn't look at the bag. I did not look don't at the bag. Cheat, don't cheat. I'm, I'm going to show these guys the snake. The bags here. The pretty ones. Look at these monkeys right here. That's Woo. easy. So what do we have? Albino. No, is there something? Else. How many jeans? That's wow. albino. Oh, is this the uh, black pastel albinos or something like that? Or? Whatever you think. You think these are black pastel albinos, or you think these? Are, what are these? They're not normal. No, they're albino. albino. They're albino. Only, there's pied in here too. And then what about these ones? Pied albino. Pied albino. Pied albino. There's something else in it. Though. There's um, something else in it. This one is yeah. different. They're so dark. Can I hold it? You can hold I just, it. It helps me when I hold it. It gets a superpowers sure. activate. So it's a albino pie. Albino what? pie. Are you sure? Are you sure there's something else in it? Black pastel pies or cine pies have basically just the head pattern oh. that would be pied and the rest would be white. God. So these are just albinos and albino pies. And I haven't even Dang looked it. at the bag yet. Mike? I'm totally honest with you. Yep, albino times albino pie. So you got me these are, wrong. Yep, you, you guys shouldn't go listen with, to me. I don't your, know this stuff. Moving on, you guys did all right though. They almost got it right. Almost. So, so where are we at right now? Uh, well, I'm two. I got the first one right. right? Yeah. Well, no. I don't know if you got the first one right because well, if you it said it was. It, it said it, it was a pie. Right? I don't know. I got. Oh, I think right now you guys are tied. Don't you cheat? You guys turn around. There you guys go. Are you ready? Bom, bom. Oh, that's easy. You get this one. What do you mean this easy? And you get this one. Well, this one clearly has uh, sugar in it. Sugar. Sugar? I was thinking salt. Salt? <laughs> a salt ball pipe? There's champagne in it. There's champagne, champagne in it. Champagne. There's, you there's know, pinstripe. I, you what, I, I will say that it's it's not that bad of a guess to say there's champagne because it doesn't look like a champagne. Pinstripe champagne. There you guys go. You guys it's down in the pin... comments, let me know what you think. This is a clutch mate of this. So what is you think this so is? Oh, oh, I meant to say banana. I meant to what? say banana. It's a uh, Mojave okay. Lesser Clown. Pastel okay, so this pie. is a pastel genetic stripe. What? So what would these be? You're getting ripped off, man. Genetic. I'm telling you, it's a banana firefly. <laughs> <laughs> Mojave genetic stripe? It, lesser or something? It's a super pastel genetic stripe. Oh. So you guys uh, both whiffed on this one. There's one pastel G stripe, and the rest were super pastel G stripes. What makes the difference wow. between a pinstripe and a G stripe? They look completely different. No one would think a pinstripe <laughs> looks like a super stripe, except you. <laughs> okay, you guys ready? All right, so I'm going to show you guys. Hard to say. What do we have here? God, I've seen these so many times. What do we have here? Pastel genetic G-stripe. This, this one is definitely... It looks like the same one you just showed us. So Pastel what you genetic G-stripe. The G stands for genetic. Oh, so I got it right, kind of right. Pastel genetic G-stripe. <laughs> <G -stripe. laughs> this one has such a peachy vibe to it. Okay, that so this is... What do you think it is? I think it's a... Uh, Mojave G Strike. The pastel G Strike. You just saw one in the f bag before. They're the same thing? They're the same the thing. They're buying the same thing. I tried to. That, I, tried to different. I tried to. Well, the ones are super pastel. Just the one. You know how there was oh. the one? Right. So, okay. No Jimmy John's for either one of you guys. No, actually, Mike got that last one. Someone's getting stabbed today. One one. Yeah, let's stab people. <laughs> Someone's getting stabbed today. <laughs> Ow, it bit me in the bag. Okay, oh, here we wow. Go. There's two in this bag. Oh, my goodness. All right, so what do you guys think? I think this is a, a jungle clown pie. Jungle clown pie. <laughs> There's definitely pie in it. Okay. There's the pie. I'm going to guess pastel. Definitely pastel. G-stripe. Mojave <laughs> pastel. You just threw it out. Wait, is that possible? Just Can Mojave whoa, 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 and uh, pastel be together? It's got an O. 
an oh, yeah. N, an I, and an M. I know it's back. got a yep. Anime. The scene in the mini me. This one's got letters on it. This, this should be crazy. called the alphabet ball. What the heck? All right. So what do you guys think? Final answer. I'm gonna guess pie. Pie. What did I say? Pie. Pie. Pastel. Pastel. Mojave. 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 <laughs> it's like when Noah's taking tests on at school. He's like just looking over and answering. These are super pastel pies. That's what? perfect, exactly. Super pastel pies. That's what I was thinking. I, just I got the pastel pie to... right part. You got it. You got it. Understand. All right, turn around. Oh, we got wait, a couple wait, more. So thing, how come they're all the same but they all look different? <laughs> because, well, there's a little difference. We had pastel pies and now we have super pastel pies. We've got one yeah. last bag. Right now, Mike is up by one. Is this double or nothing though? So if what? I get it right, I win. If Mike gets it wrong, he I'm loses. Like that. No, <laughs> no, no, no. That's so, so you, if you tie, you both get stabbed. Okay, what? but it's if I if I get it right and he gets it wrong, I win. No, because then you would tie. How you about gotta we get it right? How about we do double right. or nothing? Though? How about we just whoever wins it wins it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, exactly. turn around, turn around, turn around. This is the one I was excited about. This is <laughs> this is the one. This this is the one. I can't believe I waited till the last one. Here, you guys go. Boom. Hang on one second. Ooh. I just have a feeling. Oh, I think I know what it is too. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, turn around. You get one. You got Titano Bulls. And you get one. Wow, this is. I know what this is. Crescent. You know what it is? Yeah. What is it? It's a clown. But it's a. Uh, it's got a lot of O's on it. I'd call this one a smoke ring. A smoke ring. Not a bad name. It's got a cool pattern, but black fast sound clown. Not though. I think it's uh. So you see that. So you're going with Black Pastel Clown. Yeah. His vote's in. I'm going Mojave. Wait, wait, what is this then? That's different. He's in Shed. That's, That's different. Xanthic. But I only have one of these. This one is... That is a ripper, though. Take a look at that one. Woo-hoo! That's like Man. just a gray scale of that. Don't you look? I didn't look. <laughs> no, I really think this I'm... is a Mojave genetic stripe. No, I'm still sticking with Black <laughs> Pastel Clown. Guess what? Someone's right and yes! someone's wrong. This is a black pastel clown. What did I say? You said a Mojave genetic stripe. Well, look at. Can I explain my reasoning? Go ahead, but you're wrong. So the Mojave adds the the rings to the side, right? That's right, Mojave. That is true. And then genetic stripe. If they knew what they were talking about, it has a clear dominant stripe down the back. But they don't know, and you're wrong. Well, so Mike gets gets uh, Jimmy Johnson. You get stabbed. That's Where would you want to get stabbed? In the leg, the butt, the, the liver. The liver. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let me know if you guys enjoyed oh. this uh, this unboxing. Definitely some awesome snakes. These will be on the website here in another couple weeks once they feed a couple times. Banger snakes, man. I tell you what, I was excited about it. You guys did actually did pretty good. Let, let us know in the comments what you guys think about how they did. I think they marked the bags wrong. All right. Wait a second here. Yeah. I, we're coming back on this. So he <laughs> might have cheated because before we open up, Jay said... Oh, this is the one with that black pastel clown. Yeah, he said this is the one with the black pastel clown. So you knew that the last bag had to have a black pastel clown because it wasn't... I know it was here too, bro. I, I know didn't know that. I didn't hear that. I don't uh, care. I did, so Mike, I did put two you guys together. are both getting stabbed. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. But I, I was still one up. Yeah, but you cheated. So cheating, you, you yeah, get to... Yeah, that's you're, minus two. Minus two. So you're done. I you're both getting stabbed. All right, say goodbye to these guys. I want to just give you a little update on Neo. Of course, the pied reticulated python. Of course, the golden child, Motley pied reticulated python. Absolutely amazing animal. Look at how big she's starting to get. I mean, she is just powering food. We got her and she was eating like super small rats. Now she's eating like big small rats to small medium rats. I mean, she is crushing food like every five, six days, growing like a weed. Again, cannot wait to get her over to the Reptarium. I think we'll probably put her over there relatively soon, to be totally honest with you. Just to get her to the point where she's so socialized, just like Perdita was, right? Because we handle Perdita constantly when she was this size, so she became such a great animal. We want Neo to be the same way for sure. So absolutely wonderful. I just have to update you because I tell you, every time I look at this animal, I am blown away. And remember, you know, Perdita is continuing to get more and more dark. This animal stays this color its whole life. That stark white and that black. Oh my goodness gracious. This animal is a dream animal and I'm so happy we have her. And at the same time we got Neo, of course, we got the rock pythons. This is the patternless rock python male. Now the thing with these guys is that it's really important to handle them a lot when they're young because they absolutely can get a 
aggressive or pretty aggro when they get bigger and you do not want a 15 or 18 foot rock python. If you've ever seen pictures of these guys' teeth, they make retics look like nothing. I mean, they have gigantic teeth and uh, you definitely want to keep them tame. The weird thing is about these guys, because we used to breed them, is the fact that they would actually be tamer when they were young and then as they got older, they would get a little aggro. So it's really important to take the time to get them really habituated and socialized as this size. But this patternless one is absolutely adorable. But my love of rock pythons really started with the normal rock pythons, the actual wild type coloration. Again, they didn't have patternless back then. That's something that's only happened over the last maybe eight or 10 years. So when I was younger, I actually had a pair of these. These are called Python Sea Bay Sea Bay. There's actually another form that's a little smaller that's called Sea Bay Natalensis. But these guys are the giants here. And this one peed on me a little bit. Normally she's really good about handling, but again, that's why you have to handle them every single day and keep them socialized because you can't let them start to get to a point where they don't want to be handled and they're peeing on you or biting you or something like that. So we have our work cut out for us, but we're going to do a good job with these guys. We'll get these over to the Reptarium soon so they can be handled a lot too, so they continue to stay socialized. Because again, one day these are going to be 17, 18, 19 foot snakes and absolutely giant, the largest snake on the continent of Africa. How about, how about <laughs> we, get, we get this crazy girl out. I hold, I hold her. her. No, no, I hold, I hold her. her. You clean the glass. And rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Go. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay, oh. cool. I get to hold her. No, you lost. You clean the glass. I'm not cleaning the glass. I'm not. I'm actually not strong enough to clean the glass because it needs to like come out. No, you jump up in there. Yeah. You got weaker. You went to Vegas. I did. I went to Vegas and got muscles. So oh. yeah, I won't do it. But I will hold her if you want to take her out. No. I no, I don't want to do it. I'm sorry. I just, I'm not going to do it. How about later we make Genesis clean the glass? Who's going to hold it? Both of us. Let's go to line. Hey guys, so I wanted to take a little bit of an update on the Reptarium because things are always moving along differently uh, with the expansion, right? So first off, our initial meeting with the city, which was the Planning Commission, and then ultimately the City Council a few days later was supposed to be the 6th and the 12th of October. Well, unfortunately, they had some issues with the planning and uh, it got pushed to November now because of some variants and some special use permits and all kinds of other jargon. Regardless, not happening in October, so now it's pushed to November, which pushes every everything back to be honest with you and now because of the special use both meetings are public meetings which is a little scary because that means that all the people around can come in and if they have an issue with what we're going to be doing they can view their grievances now we have a great relationship with the city so I think we're going to be okay but it is nerve-wracking because listen that's one thing that can derail the entire expansion right like if for some reason the city says no which I don't see that happening but you just never know what's going to happen these two meetings are crucial Nothing moves forward if these meetings don't go well. So I was hoping we were gonna have these done in October, but unfortunately now we're pushed to, I think the 9th and 15th of November, if I'm not mistaken. So it won't be until the middle of November where we know for sure we can do the expansion. Then I met with my general contractor and we started talking about the plans with engineering, structural engineering, the different things we have to do when he would be ready to start helping. And the truth is, is that my kind of idea of maybe by the end of the year was pretty ambitious and maybe even, you know, the very beginning of next year was even very ambitious. He said that he thinks that we're probably eight to ten months away if everything goes perfectly before we could probably break ground, right? Eight to ten months before the break ground point, it could be as much as a year from now to break ground. So he's thinking sometime maybe August or September of next year is when we could actually start the build out. So I'm a little bit bummed, but to be honest with you, I'm a little relieved too because that gives me more time to raise funds, number one, uh, make sure all my planning is in place because we're not only planning the expansion as far as the build out and that's the city and all this other stuff but I've got to plan the aquariums I got to plan the reptarium build what animals we're gonna get all kinds of different stuff so listen I'm a little stressed out because I really need like salt and peppers a larger enclosure and a few other animals need to move up but the truth is we'll make ends meet somehow and we'll probably not get started with the reptarium expansion until sometime maybe the end of summer maybe even towards fall of next year unfortunately so uh, but that's okay because it, you know things are moving along so just you know send positive vibes for those city meetings because that is the big one. Now listen, if for some reason those don't go well and we can't do the expansion, 
probably going to maybe look at moving to another building and starting over. And I know a lot of people have kind of made that suggestion, like maybe you should do that in the minute. It'll actually be more expensive to move than it is to build here, but I would probably at least take a look at that option if for some reason the city doesn't allow us to do it here. But like I said, I don't think that's going to be an issue, but uh, just wanted to keep you guys updated on what's going on. Definitely a little bit stressed, but then it, but at the same point, a little relieved, right? Because now I have more time to make sure this thing goes off the right way. It's going to be amazing regardless of when it happens. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy today's video and you like egg cutting, here's a playlist of a ton of egg cutting. You can watch all you want if you don't mind. You know what else you could do for me? Hit that subscription button. It would mean the world to me. Have an absolutely wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you in the next one.